All right, so now we're entering into uh, chapter nine, hydraulic pneumatic power systems. We're gonna have 114 total questions in this section, and it's gonna be divided into 11 different parts. So once again, as you know, 90% are better to pass each part. So let's continue. Number one, covered with suitable sleeve. Covered with a suitable sleeve. Covered with a suitable sleeve. So to protect seals from damage when installed over a threaded section, the threaded section should be covered with a suitable sleeve. Covered with a suitable sleeve. Covered with a suitable sleeve. To protect seals from damage when installed over a threaded section, the threaded section should be covered over a suitable sleeve. Number two, an O-ring, an O-ring, an O-ring. So which of the following is the most common used seal to prevent internal and external leakage in both directions of a hydraulic unit? You use an O-ring, an O-ring. Number three, check valve, a check valve, check valve. So which of the following allows fluid to flow unimpeded in one direction but prevents fluid flow in the other direction. It is called a check valve. A check valve. Number four. Selector. Selector. Select a valve used in a hydraulic system that directs pressurized fluid to one end of an actuating cylinder and simultaneously directs return to fluid to the reservoir from the other end. So it is called a selector, selector, all right? A selector valve. A selector valve is used in a hydraulic system that directs pressurized fluid to one end of an actuating cylinder and simultaneously directs returned fluid to the reservoir from the other end. Selector. Number five, regulates the compressor inlet air to provide a substabilized source for air of air for the compressor. Let's start again. Regulates the compressor inlet air to provide a stabilized source of air for the compressor regulates the compressor inlet air to provide a stabilized source of air for the compressor. So this is known as what function does the absolute pressure regulator perform in the pneumatic power system? In the pneumatic power system, the absolute pressure regulator, it regulates the compressor inlet air to provide a stabilized source of air for the compressor. Regulates the compressor inlet air to provide a stabilized source of air for the compressor. It regulates the compressor inlet air to provide stabilized source of air for the compressor. Number six. Both number one and number two are true. So relief valves are used in a pneumatic system as a damage preventing unit. And check valves are used both in hydraulic and pneumatic systems. Okay, so regarding these statements, they are both true. They are both true. Number seven, fluid flows through the valve in the off position. Fluid flows through the valve in the off position. Fluid flows from the valve in the off position. So one of the distinguishing characteristics of an open center selector valve used in a hydraulic system is that it fluid flows through the valve in the off system. Fluid flows through the valve in the off system. Number eight. Packing material made for ester base fluid. Packing materials made for ester base fluid. Packing materials made for ester base 
fluids. So what type of packing should be used in hydraulic components to be installed in a system containing Skydrol? It's packing materials that are made for ester base fluid. It's extremely important that you do not ever mix the two types of hydraulic fluids, whether it be a Skydrol or whether it be uh, the other types like the 5606. Reason being is that those O-rings will disintegrate. Skydrol disintegrates everything. So that's why your packing materials for Skydrol need to be made for ester-based fluids. Okay, packing materials made for ester-based fluids when you use Skydrol. Number nine, as damage preventing units, as damage preventing units. So relief valves are used in a pneumatic system as damage preventing units. Remember, we just saw another question like this, as damage preventing units. So relief valves are used in pneumatic systems as damage preventing units. Number 10, a moisture separator, a moisture separator, a moisture separator. So an aircraft pneumatic system which incorporates an engine-driven multi-stage reciprocating compressor, it also requires a moisture separator. A moisture separator. An aircraft pneumatic system which incorporates an engine-driven multi-stage reciprocating compressor, it also requires a moisture separator. Number up. Oh, hey, take a quick quiz and I'll see you soon.